Ephesians 3, 9 reveals that God created all things by Jesus Christ. God created the entire universe by Jesus Christ. Suppose that Jesus Christ had long, dark hair and a mustache and a beard. When God created the universe by Jesus Christ, there was no human body with long, dark hair and a mustache and a beard. Ephesians 3, 9 does not claim that there was. We need to study the Holy Bible. One of the first false doctrines that we need to discuss is the doctrine that before the creation of the universe, there was a God Jr. with God. The people who believe in that doctrine think that the Heavenly Father and a God Jr., the Son of God, were together during the pre-universe eras. First of all, I do acknowledge that it is very easy to read certain verses in the Holy Bible and then believe that the Heavenly Father and a God Jr., the Son of God, were together during pre-universe eras. However, we need to meticulously study the Holy Bible like it has never been studied before. We need to examine the Holy Bible one step at a time, one word at a time. And we must never ever contradict a single word in the Holy Bible. The moment that you see something in the Bible, embrace what you see and do not ever reject what you have seen. You will see that the Holy Bible reveals that there was no God Jr. by God when God created the universe. But you will see that the goddess was by God when they created the universe. The only questions are, will you thoroughly study the Holy Bible? And will you believe the Holy Bible? Some Christians read in the Bible that God sent his son into the world, and those Christians assume that that means that God sent God Jr., the son of God, from heaven down to planet Earth. Listen to Galatians 4.4 4 in Young's literal translation. God sent forth his son come of a woman. God sent his only begotten son from the womb of the Virgin Mary out into the world. And we know from Hebrews 1, 5 and Hebrews 5, 5 that the Heavenly Father said to Jesus Christ, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. The first time and the only time that El, the masculine de deity, begat a son, was in circa 4 BC. God's only begotten son was baby Jesus. See Luke 2:11. In John 17:18, Jesus said to the Father, "As thou has sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world." In John 17, 18, Jesus Christ revealed that he had sent certain people from point A on planet Earth to point B on planet Earth. In John 17, 18, Jesus Christ did not indicate that he had sent people from heaven down into the world. And we need more Holy Bible. The Hebrew word El, Strong's 410, appears in Isaiah 43.10 and Isaiah 46.9, and consequently it is revealed in Isaiah 43.10 and Isaiah 46.9 that 
There is no other masculine God besides El, who is the Heavenly Father. Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God, but that fact does not mean that the God of Genesis 1, 26 is L and L Jr. We need to study the Bible. The Hebrew word L, Strong's 410, and the Hebrew word Elohim, Strong's 430, appear in Isaiah 46, 9. The Lord God revealed in Isaiah 46, 9, that there is no L, masculine God, beside L, or in addition to L. And the Lord God also revealed in Isaiah 46, 9, that there is no Elohim beside the Genesis 1, 1 Elohim, or in addition to the Genesis 1, 1 Elohim. The Elohim of Genesis 1, 1 is the Elohim of Genesis 1, 26. The Elohim of Genesis 1, 26 is El and the goddess. They are one God. The God of Deuteronomy 6, 4 and Genesis 1, 27. See my video, The Goddess of the Bible, Part 1. Isaiah 44, 6. Isaiah 44, 5 and Isaiah 46, 9 reveal that there is no Elohim other than the Elohim of Genesis 1, 26. El, the masculine deity, and the goddess are the only Elohim. There is no other God. The God of Deuteronomy 6, 4 is the only God. Some Christians still may prefer to believe that, before God created the universe, God was with a God junior, a pre-universe son of God. Those Christians misinterpret Bible verses that can seem to indicate that the Son of God was with God, before God created the universe. Be cognizant that Romans 8.29 and Ephesians 1.4 can seem to indicate that Christians existed before God created the universe. Ephesians 1.4 He hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. We did not exist before God created the universe, but God was above the timeline before he created the universe. God chose his people before he created the universe and before he created his people. God was able to do that because God is above the timeline. Similarly, God knew Jesus above the timeline. Consequently, certain Bible verses can seem to indicate that the Son of God was with God before God created the universe. We cannot fully wrap our minds around this, but we can comprehend the basic idea. Of course, a thorough examination of the Holy Bible proves that the goddess was with God before God created the universe. And remember that Colossians 2.9 reveals that all of God was in Jesus. El, the Heavenly Father, and the goddess were in Jesus. We know from John 7.16 and John 12.49 that the Father told Jesus what to say. And remember from Colossians 2, 9, that the Father was in Jesus. Consequently, we know from collectively John 7, 16, John 12, 49, Colossians 2, 9, and other Bible verses that 
the goddess spoke from the physiological body of Jesus Christ. Remember from my video, The Goddess of the Bible, Part 2, that the goddess was the speaker in Proverbs chapter 8? Now, compare the words of the goddess in the book of Proverbs to the words of Jesus Christ. Compare Proverbs 8.32 to Luke 11.28. Proverbs 8.32 Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Luke 11.28 Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Compare Proverbs 3.1 to John 14.15 Proverbs 3, 1, keep my commandments. John 14, 15, keep my commandments. Compare Proverbs 4, 9 to Revelation 2, 10. Proverbs 4, 9, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Revelation 2, 10, I will give thee a crown of life. Compare Proverbs 4, 8, 8 to Psalm 99, verse 9. Proverbs 4, 8, exalt her. Psalm 99, verse 9, exalt the Lord. And always remember that in Proverbs 8, 30, the goddess revealed that she was by God when God created the earth. That was not a God junior by God. God's image is not Mel and Mel junior. God's image is Mel and female. Read Genesis 1, 26 through 27 and read it very thoroughly. Pray about it. The God of Genesis 1, 26 is the God of Genesis 3.22 and Genesis 11.7. Go study Genesis 3.22 and Genesis 11.7. Pray about it. Trust in the God of Genesis 1.26. All of the God of Genesis 1.26 was in Jesus, and the goddess spoke from the physiological body of Jesus. And always remember, just because some people claim that verses such as John 1, 1 through 3, John 17, 5, and John 17, 24 indicate that uh, God Jr. was with God during pre-universe eras, that does not mean that a God Jr. really was with God during pre-universe eras. Isaiah 43.10 and Isaiah 46.9 reveal that there is no other masculine God besides El, who is the Heavenly Father. When we read certain Bible verses, we need to remember that God is above the timeline. John 3, 13. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Before Jesus Christ ascended to heaven in the way of preterism, Jesus spoke of his ascension into heaven in the past tense. We know from John 20, 17 that Jesus Christ at the time of John 3, 13 had not yet ascended up to heaven. After reading John 20, 17 and then carefully studying John 3.13, we can scripturally prove 
that Jesus Christ in John 3.13 used a past tense verb in reference to a future event. In John 3.13, before Jesus Christ ascended to the Father, Jesus Christ revealed that he had already ascended to the Father and was already in heaven. Similarly, during the John 1-2 pre-universe eras, before Jesus Christ existed in the way of preterism, in a male body with long dark hair and a mustache and a beard, he was in the beginning with God. See John 1-2. But there was no God Jr. by L, the masculine deity, during pre-universe eras. The goddess was by L, the masculine deity, during pre-universe eras. And the goddess eventually spoke from the physiological body of Jesus Christ. See John 17, 5 and John 17, 24. Jesus Christ is the Messiah of Isaiah 9, 6 and the only begotten Son of the living God.